Hello learners, I am Akash. I completed my B.Tech from NIT Raurkela in the year 2020. Currently, I am a mathematics teacher. Now, let us see how to solve this given system of equations by Gauss-Jordan method. I know some of you feel like, okay, Gauss-Jordan method, it's a little tough. Let's leave it in choice. But don't worry, guys. If you understand the things in the way they need to be understood, if you understand the things in the way they need to be understood, you will feel it a little easy. Fine, so this is a given system of equations. Fine. Understand the logic, guys. If you'll understand the logic now, you will be able to do, do this on, on your own also. I'll explain the logic. Let's get started. See, the given system of equations are given equations are fine. I just wrote the uh, question again. I mean, the equations given in the question again. Fine. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to write it in matrix form. Now, how to write that? The given equations can be written as like this. First matrix, like square matrix into another square matrix is equal to square matrix. I'm sorry, this is square matrix into a matrix is equal to another matrix, fine. The, because this is a square matrix, 3 by 3. This is uh, 3 by 1, this is also 3 by 1, fine. Now, see guys, how I got this. Uh, basically, the coefficients of x, y, z. In the first equation, this is 1 into x plus 1 into y plus 1 into z. That means 1, 1, 1. And RHS have 9, so 9. Likewise, 2, 5, 7. And 52. Likewise, 2, 1, minus 1. And 0. Okay, so this is what uh, I am given. Okay. So if you will multiply this now, you will get uh, the equations back. Like, for example, if, I were, if you are confused, see. If you will uh, multiply, do matrix multiplication. So first row into first column, 1 into x plus 1 into y plus 1 into z equal to 9. Really. That means x plus y plus z equal to 9. Uh, that's our first equation. So it's fine. It's okay. Now the first matrix, I'm going to take it as A, second matrix as capital X and third matrix as capital D. So let A equal to this. So hence my matrix equation is AX equal to D. Fine. Chalo, now what is this Gauss-Jordan method and how to solve? See, in Gauss-Jordan method, what we will do, we are going to construct an augmented matrix. Now, what is that augmented matrix? Augmented matrix is nothing but, we just club A and D, okay? Like 1, 2, 2, 1, 5, 1, 1, 7, minus 1 and 9, 50, 2, 0. We just club it, like you will get this. Augmented matrix is AD equal to this. Fine, okay. Now, after this, we are going to start something known as row operations. But before that, you have to understand why we are doing this. I mean, what is involved in this Gauss-Jordan method? If you understand right, if what is involved, that's when you will feel it easy, right? Otherwise, you will just try to mug up and like mug up the operations. Understand the logic, guys. It is easy. See, whenever I am using Gauss-Jordan method, my target is to get this, this one. I, my target is to convert this to, my target is to convert this to 1, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0. 0, 0, 1 and some numbers, okay. These I don't bother. He, in place of this, in place of this, I need to get 1, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, 1. That is my logic, okay. My entire operations will revolve around this. I want to get this 1, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, 1. This is the logic, okay. I, I know guys, it is a little tough because when I was in intermediate also, I did not understand Gauss-Jordan method that well. This logic I understood once I went to like uh, B.Tech, there I was doing some sums and okay, this is how it is, fine. But I'm telling you the logic now, use it, <laughs> fine. Chalo. So my target is to get this, 1, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, 1. Now how to get this, see. First, I should get a 1, in the my first element should be 1. If you check our augmented matrix, first element is already 1, so that's a plus point. If not, we, have, we would add, done some interchanges or something like that. Fine, to get a 1 there. I already have a 1. Fine. Now, my next, next target is to make this and this. I need to get zeros below this one. Here, there are 2s, right? I need to get zeros. Listen carefully, guys. While uh, initially, I need, I'm going to use this one to make this and this 0. So, basically, I'm going to use R1, row 1. To make sure that R in R2 and R3, the first elements become 0. Okay. Now, how is that? See, here I have 2. He, in R2, my first element is 2. In R1, my first element is 1. 
So basically, how can I make sure that this one becomes two multiplied by two? So my operation will be my operation will be R two implies. Uh, sorry for the handwriting. I'll just write it again. My first operation will be R two implies R two minus two R one. Understand the logic. Now if I'll multiply this one with two, so I'll get two two R one, right? That means two 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 eighteen. R two minus two R one. That means two minus two, five minus two, seven minus two, and fifty two minus eighteen. Uh, we should multiply two. Okay. Likewise, R three implies R three minus two R one. Same operation. If you will do this, this is what I'll get. I'll erase this because I feel it's coming in the way. It's not that good, right? Whenever we go, uh, I want you guys to stay focused and understand this. See, listen. This is an intermediate step. This step you won't see anywhere. I have, I have, I'm added. I have added this step so that it will be easy to understand. R two implies R two minus two R one. Means, see guys, first of all, only R two will change, okay? And R three implies means R three will change because of this operation. Fine. So R two implies R two minus two R one. Let us understand this operation properly. R two implies R two minus two R one. Means R two is there. Two is there minus two into R one. That means multiply this one with two. Two minus one, two uh, into one. That means two. Two minus two. Likewise, five minus two into one, two. So five minus two. Seven minus two. Again, fifty-two minus nine twos are eighteen. Fifty-two minus eighteen. Fine. Now R three implies R three minus two R one. Here also I have two, so I am doing the same operation for R three also. R three implies R three minus two R one. Fine. I hope I am not boring you guys. Chalo. Now, now same thing. Two minus two and one minus two minus one minus two ones are two. And zero minus eighteen. I hope you understood it. Right, how the logic went. Any doubts? Come in the comments box. I will try my best to help you out there. Fine. Now simplify this. If you simplify it, this is what you get. Uh, zero zero. Now you see, I got my first target. One zero zero. One zero zero. See, now it's matching. Now what is my next target? My next target is to be make zero one zero. Now listen, guys. Before making it zero one zero. First, make sure you get a one in the center. Make sure you get a one in the center. Fine. Now, but here, if you see, what do I have? I have a three here. Now I have to make it one. How? For this, I am going to take the help of R three. Don't take, don't use R one, guys. For to make this one, use R three only to make the this element one. Use R three only, okay? Because if you use R one, this zero which we got, it will go, it will vanish, okay? Fine, because it's it's just like you know you yourself lit lit the fire and you yourself are pouring water again. <laughs> Let's not do that, guys. Again, like the work work in which you put, it's also somewhat similar to you dug a pit, like uh, let's say you want to make a pit. And you dug, dug, sir. You know, dug it, dug the land. Again, you, you are putting the uh, mud back in the, you know, same pit. It's useless, right? You are spoiling your own effort. Okay, now let's come back. Hello. Now, how to make this three one? Think, which operation will make it one? I have minus one here. Now, see, guys, just three minus one is two. Nah, that won't work. But three minus two is one. So basically, basically, if I'll do, if I will do, R three imply. I'm sorry, R two implies R two plus two R three. Let's say I'll do this. R two implies R two. That means three plus two into minus one. That means three minus two. Three minus two, which is nothing but one. You get me right? You understand the logic by which I'm going. See guys, it's easy. I hope you are following. Okay, fine. So that's what I'm going to do. R R two implies R two plus two R three. So zero plus R two implies R two plus two R three means only R two is going to change. Okay. Now apart from that, guys, uh, see R two plus two R three. Okay, R two plus two R three is there. That means zero plus two into zero. So zero plus zero. Fine. Three plus two into minus one. That's what it is. Five plus two into minus three, and thirty-four plus two into minus eighteen. 
like you get right whenever we apply an operation it will come for the entire row although we you majorly focus on one element but yeah it gets to the entire row so 3 minus 2 5 minus 6 34 this one only guys like 2 into minus 1 is minus 2 so minus 2 so 3 minus 2 2 into minus 3 is minus 6 so 5 minus 6 likewise 2 into minus 18 is minus 36 so 34 minus 36 so that's what i get here now simplify this what here hooray now we got our one now we got our one now using this one now using this one make this and this zero okay use r2 to make you should use r2 to make sure that this and this become zero now you see this is pretty simple in r1 there is here this element is one this element is also one just do r1 implies r1 minus r2 so 1 minus 1 will become 0. 1 minus of minus 1 and 9 minus of minus 2. Okay. Now in R3, I have minus 1. Pretty simple, right? R3 implies R3 plus R2. If I'll add this, minus 1 plus 1, we'll get a 0. I hope you guys are understanding. I hope it's not going above your head. I hope it's going into your head. Okay. Fine. If, if it's going above your head, now catch it and somehow bring it into your head. <laughs> Fine. Don't allow the content to go above your head. <laughs> okay, guys. Fine. Come on. So R1 implies R1 minus R2. It means uh, that means basically R1 only is going to change because of the first operation, and R3 is only going to change because of the second operation. Fine. So 1 minus 0, 1 minus so 1 minus 0, R1 implies R1 minus R2 means 1 minus 0, 1 minus 1, 1 minus of minus 1, 9 minus of minus 2. That's what you see. R2, there is no change. Okay. Now, R3 plus R2, that means 0 plus 0, minus 1 plus 1, minus 3 plus minus 1, minus 18 plus minus 2. Just simplify, guys. You will get this. So 1 minus 1 is 0. 1 minus of minus 1 is 1 plus 1, which is 2. 9 minus of minus 2 is 9 plus 2, which is 11. And uh, this is 0, minus 3 plus minus 1. Listen, guys, minus 3 plus minus 1 is nothing but minus 4. And minus 18 plus minus 2 is minus 20. Fine. Now, you see, this is what I have 0, 1, 0. I told you, right? My target is to get this 1, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0. Now, 0, 0, 1. In this one, first get the 1. First get the 1. Okay. And then the making the other two zero is not that difficult. Now, how to do that? This is what I have. How to do that? Big question mark. You have to think. Let us think, guys. Let us think a little. We can use all directions to think. <laughs> it's fun, right? Like sometimes, you know, I used to do this when I was uh, small. When my max teacher used to give me a sum, it was... I, I would not get idea so I would like just stare at one corner of a wall like this and suddenly I would get idea sometimes <laughs> it was fun <laughs> those days yeah you guys I know you guys feel like being a student is boring but student life you don't have tension of earning money and all that you know once you become big and you don't have a job everyone around will be like ah what are you doing what are you doing oh my god don't go through that guys okay fine <laughs> let's come to this fine. so this is what i have now i need to make this one see guys uh, it's pretty easy at this point see 0 0 minus 4 minus 20 what i'm gonna do is i'm going to multiply r3 with 1 by minus 4 i'm gonna multiply r3 with 1 by minus 4 because 0 into 1 by minus 4 0 into 1 by minus 4 minus 4 into 1 by minus 4 will be plus 1 and that one will be there minus 20 into 1 by minus 4. So fine, you can just see it. Okay. So if I'll do this, this is what I'll get. So minus 4 minus 4 cancel, I'll be left out with 1. These zeros will anyway be 0. And minus minus cancel, 4 1s are 4 5s. Fine. Come on, guys, we got our 1 here also. Climax, come on. Climax. Okay. We are at the edge of the race. Let's say we are like running a 100 meter race. We are in the last 10 meters. Come on, stay focused. Last 10 meters. Okay, now see. Now using this R3, I'm going to make this and this 0. Fine. Here I have 1. Here there is a minus 1. Pretty simple. R2 implies R2 plus R3. So minus 1 plus 1, job is done. 
here I have two, here I have one. So basically multiply this with uh, two. So R1 implies R1 minus two R3 because two minus two into this, two ones are two. So, and so the, those are my operations. R1 implies R1 minus two R3 and R2 implies R2 plus R3. Fine, come on, come on, come on, stay focused. So R1 implies R1 minus 2 R3 means 1 minus 2 into 0 is uh, 0 only, 1 minus 0. So 0 minus 0 only, 2 into 0 is 0. 2 minus uh, 2 into 1 is 2, so 2 minus 2. 11 minus 2 fives are 10, 11 minus 10. I hope it's clear. Now next, 0, 0 plus uh, R2 implies R2 plus R3. So only R2 is going to change 0 plus this 0 and 1 plus 0 minus 1 plus 1 minus 2 plus 5. Fine. Okay. These steps are intermediate step guys. Steps guys. Like uh, you won't see this. I have just you can write this in exam. There is nothing wrong if you put some additional steps. But generally you won't see this anywhere even in textbook or guides. Okay. I kept it so that it will be easy for you to understand. Fine. Now just simplify guys and your job is done. That's it. One zero 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 one zero 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 one. Hooray! <laughs> Fine. So this is my solution. One three five. X equal to one. Y equal to three. Z equal to five. Ah, it's always good to be young guys. Ah, you guys are so young. <sighs> I'm already, I'm already getting a little white hair. <sighs> white hair okay anyway sum is done <laughs> okay anyway sum is done so uh, fine uh, anything else I want to talk about mm, okay see guys uh, one whenever you are in a flow now things become very easy if you will take a break to come back it is actually a bit difficult now what do I mean by it is see Let's say uh, for the first 20 days of your college, you went to college every day, every day in the evening, you are revising for one, one into one and a half hour. Okay. You are doing this regularly. Now, suddenly because of uh, fever or some health issue, you do not go to college for four to five days. Trust me, guys, it's going to be very difficult to forget because the point is whatever you have learned that is there, but in between those four to five days, a lot of content must have been covered. So that's why don't ever lose this, uh, you know, flow guys, because once you're in a flow and keep studying, trust me, guys, you will not know when will the, when will you be ready with for the exams and when will you do amazing things? You do not know without knowing only you will do amazing things if you are consistent. Okay, fine. I hope I did not bore you uh, through this. Uh, I might have been a bit slow because Gauss Jordan is something which many feel it is a bit tough. So went a bit slow with the logic and different intermediate within some intermediate steps and other thing other things thing. Anyways, uh, in case you like this video, please hit the like button. It will encourage me to make many more of such videos. And if this is your first time coming across to my channel, please do subscribe to it. Once again, thank you.